Greetings. I'm your guide today to stamp collecting, the hobby also known as philately. Courtesy of the American Philatelic Society at the American Philatelic Center in central Pennsylvania. The APS has been around since 1886, so we have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. The society started with humble roots, but has grown to more than 30,000 members worldwide. Whether you're a novice or an experienced collector, the APS has something for you. Buying and selling items, expertizing, help with research, classes, an award-winning publication, and more. Stamp collecting is a big hobby. Consider just one volume of the annual Scott Standard Postage Stamp Catalog. When the hobby first started, catalogs of the world stamps were pretty small. However, today one volume of the Scott Catalog has about a thousand pages filled with stamp images and descriptions. Most philatelists today focus their collections on items from the 19th through 21st centuries, including envelopes, which we call covers, postal markings, and stamps. Until the mid-19th century, sending mail was expensive and mostly limited to the wealthy or for business purposes. On May 1, 1840, Great Britain released what is known as the first official national standardized postage stamp, known popularly as the Penny Black. It wasn't long before most civilized places started using standardized postage. And it wasn't long before people started collecting the stamps and the envelopes they were stuck to. Today, people collect stamps from countries we know well. The United States, Great Britain, Germany, India, to smaller or lesser known nations, the Faroe Islands, Cameroon, Tonga. Some collectors enjoy postal history, tracing the mail on routes through cities and towns they may be familiar with. Much of this area includes studying covers and postal cancellations and other markings, along with postal routes and post offices. Some collectors focus on how stamps were produced, which sometimes results in varieties that can be prized rarities. The famed U.S. inverted Jenny airmail stamp, which shows the biplane upside down, is one of these. Topical collecting continues to be popular among a certain segment of collectors. Topics like flowers, animals, the Olympic Games, and trains are among the world's most popular subjects to collect, but just about anything that appears on a stamp could be collected. The American Philatelic Research Library is the world's largest repository of philatelic literature, with material from the beginning to the newest works. In 2016, the library moved into a state-of-the-art $3.4 million space at the American Philatelic Center. We primarily serve members of the American Philatelic Society, serving as their research library. We also collect, preserve, and provide access to literature about postage stamps, stamp collecting, and mail services. We currently have more than 23,000 books and about 6,000 periodical titles. That makes for a total of more than 80,000 volumes in the library. In addition to APS members, we serve academic scholars, professionals, and the public, both here at the library in Belfont and from all over the world by phone and email. We treat every stamp as if it were a precious piece of art. You don't need the fanciest or most expensive tools, but the basics can be very helpful. They include tongs, a magnifier, a perforation gauge, hinges and mounts, a way to store your stamps such as albums, stock books, and glassine envelopes. Every hobby has its challenges and stamp collecting is no different. As you build your collection, please keep a few things in mind. Proper storage will help you enjoy your hobby more. It doesn't take long to accumulate a few thousand stamps. Stamps are delicate, so please work with them under proper conditions. What about costs? Are you afraid of paying too much for a stamp? Or do you hope to sell a cover for three times what you paid for it? This is one of the hobby's more controversial areas. Do your homework when it comes to buying and selling. The APS has been helping philatelists collect since 1886, and we'd be glad to help you. The APS currently sponsors two major stamp shows every year, one in the summer and one in winter. A stamp show is a great place to immerse yourself in the hobby, 
surrounded by other collectors. The APS has two prime sales outlets, circuit sales and an internet store, with material from both outlets submitted by society members. APS sales divisions process more than 10,000 orders and $2 million in sales every year through these outlets. There also is a stamp store on site at APS headquarters. The APS Expertizing Committee has an on-site staff and about 100 volunteers who help properly identify stamps. The American Philatelist, the Society's award-winning journal, offers monthly stories and features created by members that cover the globe and the history of the hobby. APS educational programs offer classes and courses for adults, youth, beginners, experts, and specialty areas too, through on-the-road seminars, workshops at stamp shows, and an annual week-long summer seminar at the American Philatelic Center. The reason why stamp collecting is important is because Americans spend about eight hours in front of the screen. We don't think we're going to reduce that amount of time, but we do think there are healthier ways to spend some time away from the screen, and stamp collecting is one of those ways. It's intellectually challenging, and what you'll find about stamp collectors is they stay active and engaged well into their 90s. In fact, we have as many members over the age of 90 as we have under the age of 40. What the APS is here to do is to make sure that the time you spend in the hobby and the investment that you make is protected. Our code of ethics and our education programs are particularly helpful in making sure that you do that. So we'd hope to see you at the APS soon and welcome you to join. So you're interested in collecting? Great. This is the perfect place to start. It's up to you. Our advice is to jump in wherever you feel comfortable and just start. We collect, we connect.